we are not of this world. That's right. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves because when you're out and about in life, at work, uh, family, friends, uh, but you're out there and you just see what's going on and you realize, man, or the news or, or you're on your phone and, and you get an alert about this happened or that happened. And the world wants to suck us in. It wants to pull us in. It wants to make us like it. Okay, and we know that that's not a good thing, right? And so this short video, I want to just cover this topic a little bit. I've done other videos. I did another one for everyone born of God overcomes the world. The world really is the devil's field place. It is it is his place. And uh, but that doesn't mean God has abandoned us. It doesn't mean that God doesn't even have power here. He certainly does. So. What does it mean? Okay, we are not of this world. All right. What is this world? Well, it's driven by lust, driven by flesh, pride of life, uh, things like that that are mentioned also in 1 John. Um, it's, it's the things that gravitate people to uh, the, the temporary, the temporal. Okay. It is the getting, the having, the material. It is, it is uh, all the uh, hypersexuality, all of that. Things that will burn up, you know, things that will burn up in this life when the next one comes. But so we're not of this world. We don't cling to it. We don't hang on to these things. We don't want, we, we don't belong. I mean, basically, we're in a place right here where it's more and more unfriendly to us. We don't fit. We don't belong. But we are here. Why don't we just get saved and taken up? It doesn't work that way. God didn't set it up. You don't just get saved and all of a sudden you're out of here. No. We get saved. We trust in the blood of Messiah. And we're here and we stay here. We occupy. We pray. Okay? So we're not of this world. We don't belong. But we know the world's unfriendly to us. And yet we're witnessing to the world through our behavior, uh, showing forgiveness, love, having boundaries, okay? And so we don't belong, and we must not fall into anything which defies the living God. And sometimes it can be very subtle. It can be an ideology. It could be an idol. It could be something that is just off a little bit, but there's a lot of it that does go along with God, but there's a little bit that doesn't. You know what? A little bit of a lie is a lie. So, we are not of this world, okay? So, we don't fall into anything that goes against what God says in his word, what God put in your spirit, what Jesus said in while he was here, witnessing and teaching and healing. All of that, the righteousness of God, does not is not the self-righteousness of the world. So, Anything that defies God, that's what the world, uh, what we're supposed to be, uh, we're not supposed to fall into. And then we must pursue him, that is God and his son and his righteousness. I've done that video. What does it mean to, uh, the, you know, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness? We are to seek the kingdom of God. We are to live the kingdom of God that's inside of us. We are not of this world. So the next time you look around and you see people having fun, doing things, you know, that's fine. It means we can have fun too, but not fun that defies God, not fun that displeases God. We are not of this world. And, you know, that's okay. More than okay. We're supposed to not be of this world. So I pray that it's a, it's a reminder and it's also a, a, a motivation and an encouragement for you to remember, you don't belong here. I don't belong here. This is not my home, my destination. My destination is with Father God and His Son, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. God bless you.